Hey, welcome to Adventures with Peps, and we are doing a long overdue Badab War chapter paint scheme in Primaris Marines. So this will loyalist, which is a loyalist space marine chapter, created during the 25th founding of the 40th millennium from the Ultramarine Gene Seed, the Fire Angels are best remembered in Imperial records for the role they played in the recent Badab War. The Fire Angels is a recently founded chapter, though not the first to bear the title. The Fire Angels hail from the world of Lauren Alpha, and while they share the genetic heritage of the Ultramarines, the Fire Angels have no special links to the wider body of the Ultramarines. And away we go! Here we go! Oh, good start. I'm losing my paintbrush. We're kicking things off with a black primed Primaris Space Marine. Now, initially, I had planned to use Lead Belcher, but I was looking through my paints and I spotted I had the Stormhost Silver, which I felt would make for a much better base coat for the model. So with that in mind, I grabbed the trusty base paintbrush and I completely covered it. Like, painfully covered it. This is my go-to brush for dry brushing for basin terrain. This is a worn out brush and I'm just slapping it from all directions. No rhyme or reason. In some areas I leave it a little bit darker because it just represents the shadows a lot better. But yeah, I just absolutely douse the model in this paint. With that dry, we grab the blood red and I've got to be honest with you, this paint scheme, once again, super simple. We got black prime, we got silver, we got a red, we got a blue. I think I use a brown and maybe a very dark grey, almost black. So like, you're talking six paints. This maybe took 12 minutes. Once again, I'm not doing crazy hard paint jobs here. So I got the blood red. I'm going to catch his knee pads and then the shoulder pads. That's it. It is a super easy paint scheme. I can't tell you enough. Yes, this isn't going to win you awards. I'm not here to do that for you. I'm here to inspire you just to get paint on some models and make them look cool. But yeah. This is a great way to get all your base troops done. Maybe you actually get your entire army done like this so it's ready, it's playable, it's painted. And then you can go back and clean up at a later date. Okay, with the red now drying, I'm going to grab the dark wood. I'm going to be using dark wood for, I guess, pouches, anything that looks leathery on the model. It's mainly pouches. I always find it weird that the Space Marines have, I guess, leather. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. I feel like they'd have moved past using leather, or Grox hide, which it most likely is, but it stands out against the silver quite nicely. It's a very dark brown. Looks very good. Goes on wonderfully as well. Army Painter over metallic paints works so well. Also gives the paint an amazing shine. Don't know if you can see it on the uh, the red, but it looks so cool. All right, whilst the brown and the red are still drying, I went back to my wet palette, grabbed a little bit more red, and I'm just going to quickly slap on the chapter symbol. Now for this army, it is a red cross. So, it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, I am shaking like mad. I had just downed a massive cup of coffee. So probably not the best time to be trying to do line work. But yeah, I'm, I'm not being gentle. I'm not being super neat. I just wanted to put a symbol on it. It's rare that I actually do it, but the symbol seems simple enough that I could attempt a version of it. Also use a little bit more of the dark wood to do the skull and crossbone on his chest. 
that is a stage that I might go in later on to lighten up with to make it look bone or I might just leave it as is we then grab the grim black and I use it anywhere that I think should be black quite simple so I go into all the soft armor parts at the joints of the stomach area around the back knee joints also hit up his knife and part of his gun just to give it this little differentiation now over the silver it really goes into the recesses darkens down the silver acts like a really strong shade doesn't make it look black in any way shape or form it just gives it a very dark shade and with these final details getting caught with the black we're pretty much done I've only got the base left to do which was pretty much grey over the black heavy dry brush and I clean up the brush black this was stupidly easy to paint if you're looking for a very simple paint scheme this could be for you like I said we had black primer silver red blue eye lens brown for the pouches and black for the weaponry and that's it super easy I'll now take some photos so you can have a look at the final piece and I will catch you next week cheers for watching like comment subscribe and watch any video at the end that's being suggested to you bye bye